Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make a rollable ball using my Circular Gravity Force 3 package. Uh, Circular Gravity Force 3 can be purchased on the Unity Asset Store, and, it's also, and you can also check it out in the links and descriptions below. So we're going to go ahead and go under Prototypes, and we're just going to go ahead and go to Empty Scene here. And we're going to go ahead, and this is kind of where we're going to be setting up our rollable ball at, is just in this kind of um, playground area. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and select um, we're going to go ahead and go to Prefabs, 3D, Physics Objects, and we're going to go ahead and select our Sphere X2 here. And then we're going to just kind of move it up here and maybe kind of rotate it so that's a little cleaner. And let's go ahead and focus on it. Just press F to focus on it. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up uh, controls so that it rolls forward and backward when we press forward and backward. And to do this, we're just going to go to Tools, CGF3 wizard and we're gonna go ahead and under shape we're gonna go ahead and select raycast you can actually also select a uh, sphere but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna go ahead and select raycast for this demo and then we're gonna go ahead and select under force type we're gonna select uh, torque and we're gonna leave the uh, max angular velocity at 10 that just is the speed of the maximum amount you want an object to spin but we're just gonna leave it at 10 for now and force mode, we'll leave it at force. And we'll go ahead and for controls, we want to go ahead and select axis control. That way, when we press forward and backward, we use the um, vertical con vertical axis controls. And go ahead and create. And I'm going to close out here. And so what we want to do is you can kind of see that it's rolling to the right. And we don't want to do that. You can see that from the arrow, it's basically rolling this way. Um, so what we want to do is we want to rotate it so that it's kind of um, so that it's forward and backward. So I just rotated it and then we're going to go ahead and move it so that it's kind of center. And then we're going to go over to size and we're just going to select three for the size of it. And make sure that it's aligned with the ball. And yep, so anything that's touching this raycast line is going to roll with the ball. Um, so let's go ahead and take our CGF object and parent it with the ball so that way um, our, our CGF stays with the ball when it rolls around. And then what we're going to want to do is uh, maybe kind of move our camera so this looking this way. So I'm going to select the camera and just um, press Control shift f And then we're going to go ahead and under the axis controls that we added, we're going to go ahead and uh, under force controls. So basically we're going to be controlling the force of the circular gravity force with just forward and backward. And that's just going to be under the force control controller. And for idle value we're going to leave it at zero. That way when you don't press anything um, there won't be any um, torque added. Um, but we want to also add one controller here so just type in one and then just type in vertical for the um, button name. And then our press value, we want to just maybe leave it at 10. So when I press forward and backward, or when I press forward, it's going to be um, adding torque uh, force at 10. If I press uh, backward, it's going to be adding negative 10. And so let's go ahead and hit play here. And I'm going to go ahead and click the uh, gizmo um, icon over here so I can see my object and what's going on with it. So you, right now you can see that it's um, zero, meaning it's white. If I, but if I press forward, it rolls kind of. But um, it's not actually the way we want it, though. Um, you can kind of tell that our CGF object is actually rolling. It's rotating with the ball. And we don't actually want to do that um, because we can kind of get some problems when we start rolling off somewhere. Um, we basically want to lock it. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and select our ball here. And then we're going to go ahead and make an empty game object. So just go ahead and right click and create empty. And we'll just put it up here. And then we're going to go ahead and parent our CGF object with the empty game object we just created. And basically, this is going to act as our pivot. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name of it to um, pivot. And we basically want to lock this pivot so that it doesn't rotate with the ball. Um, to do this, we're just going to go to Add Component. And we're going to type in Lock. And you'll see there will be a Lock2 script. And it's a pretty simple script. And you can also write your own, too, um, if, if you want to go that route. But just select that. And this script, all it does is just lock the rotation of, um, of this pivot. So that way it doesn't rotate or roll around with the ball. Um, so 
So if I hit play here, and you'll notice that now our CGF object isn't actually um, rolling around like what the ball is, but it's basically always pointing forward, which is exactly what we want. So we got it rolling forward and backward. Now let's now all we got to do is just add it so that it um, rolls uh, right and left. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and um, rename this CGF object here. We're going to go ahead and call this one just vertical or CGF vertical. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this CGF object so that it we can use the other one for uh, rolling right and left. And we'll go ahead and just call this one horizontal. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this and move it so that it's kind of centered to the ball. And just make sure that um, you have it in a way that it's aligned um, perfectly with the ball. And let's go ahead and under the um, CGF axis controls, just change the button name to vertical. I mean uh, horizontal, I'm sorry. And that's it. And then you got a ball, or you have full control of this ball right now. And that's about as easy as it gets. Um, right now we're using Torque. You could actually use Force if you wanted to. All you got to do is just select the CGF objects and just say Force if you just want to apply Force. Um, but right now we're just kind of using um, Torque. But yeah, anyway, that's just a short, quick demo of how to make a, a ball roll around um, using my Circular Gravity Force 3. Um, if you want to also check out more tutorials, uh, go ahead and check in the links and you can um, check out other tutorials. Anyway, you guys have a good one.